Hey everyone, welcome to the Scouting Report. I'm Greg Lawless, alongside Andrew Wiebe. Dan Hayek and Matt Doyle are slacking off somewhere on the left coast. Um, I think they're probably working on their tans. I'm guessing sleeping. Sleep. It's still early. It's early on these. Dan coasts. might be working on his beard, so that, that's good for him. Anyway, look, if familiarity breeds contempt, we're going to have a good old-fashioned soccer Donnybrook on our hands this weekend. Houston and Sporting Kansas City have met in the Eastern Conference Championship the past two seasons, and now they're going to do it again. The first leg is at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday afternoon. You can watch it on NBC in the United States and on RDS2 and MLS Live up in Canada. Weebs, what's the headline for this one? Well, it's pretty simple. Can Sporting finally shed their postseason bugaboo? A bu bugaboo indeed. The playoff history between these two is obvious. It's all Houston. But this season, Sporting got the better of the series. Barely. They picked up a 1-0 win and a scoreless draw at BBVI Compass Stadium, and they battled to a 1-1 draw at home. Now, Weeby, can we read anything into the way the series went? Look, I think the lesson here is that goals are going to be at a premium. In three games, three goals. Both keepers at the top end of the MLS spectrum. We saw what Tally Hall did against New York. Jimmy Nielsen can do the same. The question with KC, as it has been even when they had Kai Kamara, is where will the goals come from? Will Claudio Bieler or Benny Feilhaber even get a chance on the road Probably not. In truth, I think another scoreless draw like October 9th would be massive for Kansas City heading home. Meanwhile, for Houston, can they recover from a hectic schedule to take care of business? Look, they're scoreless at home against KC this year. Will Bruin, Giles Barnes, Knox, nursing a little bit of an injury concern there, and chances were slow in coming against New York. I think they'll need the midfield to drive things. Fortunately, you got Boniac Garcia and Brad Davis, so that's always a good thing. But for Houston, it's about putting the pressure on KC heading back to Kansas City. Sporting cannot give up that two-goal cushion. They did it last year. They couldn't recover. We've seen how that worked out for them. Well, the Dynamo, indeed, you talked about the all the games. They played five games in the last two weeks. That's tough for them. Time now for the WTF stat. This is as simple as it gets. Zero, nada, goose egg, donut, whatever you want to call it, that's how many goals Graham Zussi has scored in 10 total games against Houston in his career, Weebs. Look, if you want Graham Zussi to be a goal scorer, you're always going to be disappointed. That's just not him. I want him to be a goal scorer. I that might he, be true, but I still want him to be a goal he, scorer. He, he gets his fair share, but he's a chance generator. He's got the instincts to get on the scoreboard, yes, but the Dynamo are going to have to watch out for him delivering the final ball and also on set pieces. You do not want to give him the opportunity to stand over it on the right flank in a good Good place to find those big bodies in the middle. We've seen what Aurelian Kalin has done this postseason, but Sporting need him on the other side as well, especially at BBVA Compass Stadium. He's got to track Boniac, Davis, Rico Clark. They need his pace. They need his endurance to keep that midfield in check. Houston, they got the guys to track him. They just got to keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't get into a get into a space where he can hurt him. Well, chance creator Zussi four assists against Houston in his career, including one in the playoffs. Now, you mentioned Bonya Garcia and tracking him. Time for man to man. Bonya Garcia and Seth Sinovic. This is form versus function here, Weebs. Yeah, it certainly is. Brad Davis may still have the best left foot in MLS, but the Dino attack now revolves around his Honduran teammate. Wednesday's game at Red Bull Arena was this in a nutshell. Dom Kinnear switched things up to free up Boniak, and Sinovic is going to have his hands full, as well as Kofi Sarkoti. Remember, it's not just right. Boniak. It's Kofi coming around that right side and overlapping and allowing the Honduran to push in at drive and goal. Look, whoever partners Sinovic, it could be CJ Sapong, it could be Suni Saad. We'll have to wait and see on that. They've got to track back, and they've got to also make sure that they can keep those two guys for Houston pinned back. If they can do that, that could go a long way toward minimizing his impact. All right, well, it's noodle time down in the Bayou City, and you, don't, you know what noodle time is, right? I have no idea. What no idea. Well, that's what the Dynamo and their fans call this time of year when they pick it up. We saw the Dynamo pick it up against New York. They got through, and now it's Houston Sporting KC again in the Eastern Conference Championship. Will the Dynamo own the moment again as they have the last two seasons? We'll find out. The first leg is at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. You can watch it on NBC in the U.S. and on MLS Live and RDS2 up in Canada. Enjoy it, everyone.